Okay, as a follow-up of the previous tutorial, in this one I'm going to uh, introduce how to apply uh, texture, also how to use multi-texture, multi-texture in combination with uh, material, standard blender material, which is also the same as GL material, and uh, vertex color. So, uh, first of all, let's start blender. Okay, I'm going to modify my uh, workspace here to have a more clear view of what I'm doing. Here I resize and I go search my UV image editor as I'm going to need it pretty soon. Okay, so for the one who are like familiar with Blender, this is all uh, standard Blender operation. Okay, how to apply a texture on uh, a mesh. Okay, so I use the default Blender scene, so I have my cube right here. I'm going to go in uh, shading and then texture. I'm going to switch inside my uh, viewport here by, to edit mode by clicking tab, tapping, pressing tab, and I'm going to go search, I'm going to go change my texture type to be image, and I'm going to go search on my desktop uh, JPEG right here. Okay, uh, also another thing, just parenthesis, okay, uh, some people have problem. I see that some people have problem, like on the forum. Okay, the rule it have to be a power of two. Okay, and from my observation, the max max width and height is uh, 1024 by 1024. Okay, so any power of two. Okay, top 1024. Any combination will work perfectly. Okay, so every non power of two will. Uh, really slow down uh, the, uh, the implementation and you won't even be capable to see like uh, your texture okay so the rule power of 2 for your texture so I got my texture here which is 512 by 512 nice power of 2 here okay and I'm gonna switch here and make sure that I apply this select all my faces and make sure that I'm applying this uh, texture here. By default I'm using uh, the standard UV okay, the, uh, for, for this cube here. If I want to check how it's going to look like in real time, I just modify the draw type to be textured and automatically this is exactly how it's going to look like when I'm going to run it in uh, SIO2. So I'm going to export, uh, first I'm going to export this scene okay, uh, here. Another parenthesis. Uh, as in the previous tutorial, we see that uh, basically my camera that I was using is the same Blender camera, okay, uh, from the same view that I was using in Blender. So basically, which property are uh, exported? Of course, we got the position and the target, which is like where my camera is, the direction where I'm looking at, and we also have the lens that is supported. And in as for the previous tutorial, I'm still going to use landscape mode. So basically, the default angle is 35, and I'm going to modify for 65, which give a better result, uh, from my opinion, in uh, landscape mode. If you want to see like how it's really going to look like, you need to uh, you know check how this rectangle here is. Okay, so the the representation blender is a little bit different. Okay, but you'll get used to it. And another property that is exported is the start clipping plane and the end clipping plane, which is basically my uh, Z near Z far. And in this case, I'm going to modify the Z near to be 1.0. Then I'm going to go in scripting. I'm going to modify my scene and call it tutorial 03. And I want to make sure that my, where is my data directory? Okay, I'm going to open my data directory. Okay. Then, here in object mode, select everything as we did before, uh, open, select my exporter, right click, execute script, and I'm going to modify the output directory to point to my data directory inside my SDK architecture. Select, OK, export, nice. Then I'm going to link my uh, tutorial tutorial 03.sio2 with my project, drag and drop it in resource, confirm, and build and go. 
So here we can see that I have my <coughs> texture apply on the mesh. Now I'm going to add, as the next step, I'm going to add another texture. Okay, so I'm going to go back in Blender, go back in Model, and select Shading. Select my object first, of course, then click Shading and make sure that I'm in texture and I'm going to go on my second texture channel. The OpenGL implementation that we're using only support uh, two texture channels. Okay, so we're going to concentrate our effort on these two one as the other one will uh, be ignored anyway. So add new texture type image load and I'm going to go search a TGA this time. Select image and now this one is also available from my uh, UV image editor uh, combo box. Here, in order to apply uh, multiple texture channel, multiple UV, I'm going to go back in edit mode and select editing and I'm going to go here on UV texture and I'm going to click new which is going to create a new uh, UV uh, layer. Okay, now we can see that uh, my UV since I switched from quads to triangle it's like a little bit different. So it's a good chance to uh, check how we can unwrap a model, okay? So select all my vertices, then press U and unwrap. And let's say cube projection since we